Well, it's kind of hard to tell, but you got the 3D printer home, and it's inside the homemade enclosure. And I'm printing Christmas ornaments for the family. You can see when I get away, the gloss gets real bad, but yeah. There it is, auto bed leveling. I'm using uh, blue painter's tape for the bed. The printer is an Artillery Sidewinder X1, and uh, the enclosure, I work at a print, sh I used to work at a print shop, so that's a piece of plexiglass on the front held on with magnets. Um, then just, just foam core, the uh, CNC cut, that's the, the vent for the, um, for the electronics. And then uh, it's PLA, so I don't really need the enclosure, but yeah, little, little box joinery. Um, with tabs and some polyurethane foam tape to seal her up. It was a really fun thing. I just measured measured the printer with the bed fully forward and fully back, and you can see I got I get pretty close on the top there. But um, yeah, had that cut out of the CNC, and then it's kind of brilliant that the bottom piece is actually 10 millimeter coro and uh, coroplast, and the fan is under the printer in the middle. So I actually had the CNC take a router and hog out a circle and I put foam tape around it. So the printer is sealed to the bottom of the coroplast with foam and a bunch of cold air is rushing into these um, little squares and it's coming out of the, the, the printer here in this little vent fan. So the electronics, you can see one on the other side too. There's one of the vent fan channels, there's the other vent fan channel. Um, a little hard to tell. Yeah, so there's the other exhaust vent. But um, so the electronics are staying nice and cool, but there's no fresh air coming into the uh, to the enclosure where the where the actual print is. But yeah, so that's an ornament coming along for a family. I think it's gonna work pretty well.